Welcome to EdTech Tuesday. I'm Rich Dixon. And I'm Jennifer Gibson. Okay, we thought we would have an episode where we take a look at the Chromebook versus the iPad. I we like know that. that it's not really a forced choice, but no. we know that many teachers... Sometimes we, it is, though. It, it can Sometimes be. you're forced to have one or the other. Especially if you're using your own money or limited funds that you've received from the PTA or some school site funding, and you have to make a choice for your own professional use, one device or the other. So, Jennifer, you love the iPad. You want I to do. talk about its virtues? Okay, so right now I have an iPad mini here. And um, the one thing I like about the iPad is there are different sizes. Uh, the iPad ranges in cost from $399 all the way up to $599, depending on how much storage. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there because I love my Chromebook. But and the Chromebook is only, this is an entry level one, yeah. for $250. Size. Yeah, see, mine's, this is bigger. This is better. This is smaller. It works better. I mean, okay. you can take well, it places. Let's talk about okay, that mobility talk. in the classroom. Okay, when we're talking about mobility, how can you beat this? I mean, it can fit in That's a backpack true. easily. Feel the weight. Okay. Feel how, how light that is. So, and then I'm thinking field trips, library. You have it all right okay. here. You went on that point. Okay. Let's talk about keyboard though. All right. Because oh, look, yeah. this thing has a keyboard, a full tactile keyboard. And I love that because <laughs> I can type really quickly. So for you, entering a lot of text and sitting and doing a lot of writing, say right. lesson plans or report cards. I or could buy a keyboard. But then you've already spent more than I have, and you got to buy a keyboard. All right, you win that point. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about a camera. Yes. Now, I go ahead. I have a great camera. Okay. This is a fabulous camera. I can, in fact, because it's so portable, it's like a portable camera that I can take anywhere. And imagine viewing your pictures on a screen like this. Yeah, I do have to give you that because that screen resolution is better. Yes. Let's talk about the fact, though, that you have not one camera. But I have two. Two. I do. Do you have two? No, I'm going to lose this one because I only have one, and this camera isn't quite as nice as the front. No, it's it not. Nice. It's not. And I, I can take picture selfies. Yes. Plus anything else that I'm out there, and the, and the, you're you're looking at a pretty high level camera here. Okay. Now let's talk about one other thing. All right. What's actually on the device itself? In other words, software, mm -hmm. apps, resources that we can get to okay. for our purposes as a teacher trying to facilitate better instruction and all of the other Okay, so after now. you've spent the initial money, mm -hmm. what comes with the device? Absolutely. Okay. So with mine, this is basically a way to use Chrome, the browser. The Chrome OS is essentially just the same thing as the Chrome web browser that you might already be using on a Windows machine. And or I want to just say machine. that when you're talking browsers, think Safari, think uh, any of the M M Firefox, all of the other browsers. So Chrome is just one of those. All right. So what you can do is within the extensions, which are essentially like apps, mm -hmm. there's a whole set of extensions that are out there. So if I want to be able to edit, a photo, I can do that. And yeah. there's free extensions, there's paid extensions. Just if, like apps. Just like apps. Okay. Do you have anything like preloaded on yours? I have lots of, I, you know, here's a couple that I really like. Okay. One I like a lot is called Poetica. And in fact, maybe we'll do an Ed Tech Tuesday soon about okay, that Okay, about one. Poetica. Yeah, it's a good. great way to edit student work, written work in particular, and provide comments in a way that's a little bit more natural and as if you were actually making those corrections by using a paper and a pencil. Okay, well, there are hundreds of thousands of apps for the iPad. Many of them are free for education. And then there's also the voucher program where I can get them at a discount through my school district to be able to get them at half price sometimes. Okay. I have, so you, I think, probably would win out on that front. Okay. Some people may argue with that, though. They, they could. Now, I have one thing where I think we probably have to concede that the Chromebook wins. Okay, and wait, wait, wait. So let's recap. Price, you thought you won, but I'm saying size. You're saying so, size. Okay. Camera, definitely I win. win. Okay. Screen is sharper and yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. And especially when you talk about retina display, yeah. you pay for that. In terms of apps, I really do think we're... Apps versus extensions, mm -hmm. it's starting to tip a little bit it's closer toward the Chromebook, but, but for they're right still, now. Okay. I agree. All right, so now, what? what happens if you only have one device in your classroom and you want to share that with your students? You have a multi-user device. In other words, if your students already have Google accounts that have been provided by your yes. school or district. I hear you. They can log in and do their work, and it doesn't mess up Don't yours. Don't go down this path, because let me tell you. What happens on yours? I have Google Drive. You can log out of it. And log in as a different user. But the student is going to still have access to the rest of the information in there, including potentially access, if they're savvy enough, to at least some of your credit card information. As, not necessarily. I could use a guided free access. account, guided access, 
And they have no access. Still, this is designed for one user. This is designed for multiple users. You could make this work. And I will have to say this, if you end up getting multiple iPads and you don't have IT support that's readily available at your for your particular site. You're going to call site, it rich. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. All right. Um, the number will not be at the end of this video. But this is meant for one user and it takes a little bit longer to get set up unless you're using another However, system. However, if you think you, you want to go this route, you can easily, with a little bit of work, make it work for an, a number of users. That, that would be my point. Wins if you have more kids. Okay. All right, so here's the deal. Easily, it's easier. It's easy. It okay. is. It is. Right. So at the end of the day, let's summarize real quickly. This device is cheaper. This one's more expensive. I think a lot of the differences between the two are really going to come down to your purposes. If I'm walking around the classroom bluntly, this is really clunky. Uh, and and I think quality wise, this is a little bit higher quality in Absolutely. how it's built and made. It is. And Absolutely. it might last longer. It might. So with that, any final thoughts? You know, I agree with you. I do think it's preference. You know, if you're looking, uh, especially as we talk about older children, as we get into grades four through 12th grade, and they're having to write so much more, I think this is a really good purchase for the price. Um, however, if you are, you know, doing a lot of, you know, switching and trading off, and it's a BYOD program, yeah, I, think this your own is, device to school. I think this is going to be a nice, nice feature to that. It really just depends on your purchasing power and what's going to work best in your classroom. And Jennifer, I want to finalize all of this by saying we really aren't trying to set this up as a Chromebook versus iPad. <laughs> but again, we know that many we of you... We use are, both. <laughs> we do use both all the time. But we know that many of you are already bringing your own personal funds into the classroom to buy some of these devices to make your teaching more effective. And we know that for budget constraint reasons, mm -hmm. you might have to make a decision one or the other. If it's a price factor and that's what it's coming down to, I would say go with the Chromebook. If you have funds to purchase a set, then you're going to need to compare the features. That's, what, that's what I would say. Agreed.